and the CEO of Appeal Sciences. Uh, we're based in Santa Barbara, California. Our technology, our company has developed a technology uh, where we extract fresh molecules from fresh produce. So we take basically uneaten plant material. So things like stems, leaves, grape skins, orange peels, banana leaves, whatever's available. Uh, we blend those up and then from that blend, it's kind of like a smoothie, a puree, we extract very particular types of molecules from that, from that smoothie because there's billions and billions of different kinds of molecules in there and they're all food. We just only want really particular molecules from there. So we extract those, we break those into different bins, and then our company takes those bins and we grab and we mix different components from different bins to then create a powder-based formula. So the product is for extending the post-harvest shelf life of fresh produce. Um, so it, we create a powder effectively, and that powder is lightweight, it's low cost to distribute. We ship it to wherever we'd like to use it, and then we reconstitute it in liquid form. Uh, then we dip fresh produce into that solution. And when it dries, uh, it leaves behind this very, very thin layer of plant material around the outside of the produce. And that thin layer acts as a barrier that res helps resist water loss, which is water evaporating out of the produce, and oxidation, which is oxygen getting into the produce. And by doing that, we can keep the produce fresh three to five times longer without refrigeration. Uh, we, we've done this on two dozen different kinds of produce. Uh, avocados, bananas, mangoes, tomatoes, papaya, you know, you know all kinds of citrus, um, green beans, you know, pretty much you name it, uh, you know, and if it's a very popular item, we've worked with it. On, on almost every commodity that we work with, we can at least double the shelf life of that produce at, at ambient temperatures. It depends on the particular cultivar or, or variety, but if you had a tomato that would last 15 days normally, we could make that tomato last 30 days. Yeah, uh, so it, this is this product is used it by very large commercial uh, companies within the United States and Mexico, uh, particularly for citrus and avocados. Um, now we developed this technology for you know commercially relevant crops in the United States, um, but we received financing from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Rockefeller Foundation to determine if there were some ways that we could take the technology that we created for these markets and turn it into a format that was more amenable for use by smallholder farmers in the developing world. Uh, and so in doing that, we got introduced to the Rockefeller Foundation uh, and their Yieldwise initiative, where one of their stated objectives was to reduce post-harvest losses in the mango value chain by 50% in Kenya within the next seven to nine years. And so we started working on uh, mangoes in particular because they're climacteric fruit and they share very similar characteristics to avocados. Um, and in doing that, uh, we also got introduced then through the Yieldwise initiative to uh, some challenges in the tomato value chain specifically within, within Nigeria.